in a desert far, far away. Dakar 2022 is over. Coming up, we've got Car Wars, Sam Solo, Revenge of the Seth, Attack of the Jones, and the Kamaz Empire. And of course, with the final special taking us back to where we began, Return of the Jeddah. 164K from the last bivouac of this edition in Bisha. Pablo Quintanillo was lying second this morning in the bikes. He's finished fourth, third and second before, but could he find his way to the top of the podium this year? He led from start to finish, but had six minutes 52 to make up on the leader. Teammate Ricky Brabeck has stormed back from his disappointment on day two to make it into the top 10. He confirmed his good form, finishing just five seconds behind Quintanilla, only to suffer a post-race speeding penalty. Double Dakar winner Toby Price won on Wednesday and his KTM was right up there with the Hondas today, second on the special after Brabeck's demotion. But no matter how hard Pablo pushed, he couldn't overturn Sam Sunderland's seven minute advantage. Gas Gas already had four stage victories and now they have the overall title too. The 2017 champion has overcome plenty these past two weeks. His joy was plain to see. Wow, dream come true. Stuck in the wrong way. Honestly, it brings a little bit of emotion, but yeah, it's a lot of a lot of work <coughs> all the all the year from from everybody. You know, my my friends, my family, my team. I had a pretty rough season in the World Championship, and um, all of these all of these moments along the way, and the, the harder times that you have, it, it just makes the feeling more great. Sunderland's second title is also only Britain's second, and he spent over half the rally at the top, so there's no debate here. A third podium for Quintanilla, and another for Valtner. It's the same situation in the World Rally Raid Championships, of which the Dakar is the first leg. Dakar. You don't actually win the Dakar, it's the others that lose it. That's how I took on the rally. That was my philosophy throughout the whole event. Coming into today, Giroud had an unassailable lead so he could afford to take it easy, which is exactly what he did, finishing 20 minutes down on stage winner Francisco Moreno, who at 25 is one to watch. From kilometre 100, I was telling myself, 50 left, 40 left, telling myself, can you believe what's happening? 25 years ago, he made his dream, unfortunately, he's not here today. Giroud's father, the first Frenchman to finish top quad at the Dakar, passed away due to COVID-19. His son made his dream reality. In original by Motul, Arunas Gelasninkas has been in front throughout. He retained the title he won last year. Three different uh, teams, uh, strong. Uh, it's possible uh, anyone can win here, you know. And now the winner of the 2022 Dakar, Nasser Al Atia. We did a good job, uh, me and Matteo, the teams. Uh, always we are in good uh, shape from the beginning of Dakar and uh, yeah. We are quite happy, you know, thank for everybody, thank for all the support. I'm extremely happy with uh, this second week and today, yeah, it was hard, but we finished. We'll see you next year? Yeah, we'll see. We're happy to be here and, uh, yeah, I must say it has been an awesome experience. Can't wait for a shower, go back home, see my family, and then charge the batteries and come back stronger next year. There have been so many stories in the cars this year, but none bigger than a first ever Saudi driver finishing on the Dakar podium. Yazid Al Raji has done it in his home country too, alongside Michael Orr, whilst also supporting team leader and the champion, Nasser Al Atiyah. We fight it hard, but uh, at the end it's not enough. And uh, Nasser did a, a very good rally, a perfect rally, I have to say. So we, we couldn't do anything more. And uh, so I think, uh, but we did it our best. And 
think we have to be satisfied with uh, the second place. <laughs> this was very important for me because uh, it's here in our region, you know, and uh, I'm so happy. It's a new car and uh, now we know we have a strong car and we try to do our best, you know, for the championship also. The Qatari ends with a comfortable winning margin of nearly 28 minutes and there's a healthy mix of teams and brands throughout the top 10. NASA also grabs 50 points for the win in the W2RC standings, but Loeb is only one point back. Master of the lightweight prototypes at Dakar 22, Chaleco Lopez. He's led since day two, having won the SSVs twice already. Last year was different because we were attacking all the time. Now we're cautious and it's very different. It's another way to rally, but we enjoyed it just as much. A runaway leader, the Chilean wins by nearly an hour. Seth Quintero won his 12th special today. Austin Jones came in search of the T4 title that slipped from his grasp 12 months ago, without a stage, but with consistency. It's the goal of any rally raid racer is to win Dakar, so to get it done on a day like this, on the last day like this, I mean, it's a perfect ending to a really great story. Jones's teammate Gerard Fares led the American by under two minutes overnight, but an electrical problem ahem, handed the title to his team leader. It's been non-stop Kamaz mastery in the trucks. 13 is definitely not an unlucky number for them. They've won every single special. All four driving teams have won. Before today, Eduard Nikolaev and Dmitry Sotnikov were tied on four stages each. Sotnikov, with the number 500 showing he's the reigning champion, made it five today. He retains the crown. It's the new order. And if the trucks had an empire, it would be this team. Kamaz 1, 2, 3, 4 for the first time since 2011. But they haven't entered the World Rally Raid Championship, so Martin Magic leads with four rounds left. Well, that wraps up Dakar 2022. More detailed highlights at Dakar.com. Thank you all for joining me on this Dakar journey and for all of your comments. A personal thank you to jean fi and Kevin, our brilliant editors on these, and the whole wonderful team here on site making these fun videos. If my first Dakar has been the most incredible adventure, and I've wanted to take you all on it with me. I'm hooked. I hope you are too. Once you start down the Dakar path, forever will it dominate your destiny. Consume you it will. So until next year, may T4s be with you. See you in 2023. Faut profiter de ces moments-là. Bon, c'est l'avant-dernier jour, c'est pour ça que je me permets un peu des fantaisies comme ça. Hein. Sinon, euh, je me serais pas permis ça sur les jours précédents. Il s'intéresse pas à moi, il s'intéresse pas à nous. <rire> On vit des galères, c'est vrai. C'est jamais évident. Ça a été dur des fois. Mais euh, on y est, on va arriver jusqu'au bout. Et puis c'est ça qui compte. Mais euh, c'est ça qui va rester, je pense, les, les amitiés avec les, les motards. Puis bon, bah les, les paysages grandioses, c'est clair, hein, je ne vais pas les oublier non plus. Hein. Chaque seconde, chaque heure, je ne vais rien oublier. Ouais, je n'ai pas envie de montrer des larmes. Mais c'est tellement d'efforts, euh, puis de, de sacrifices. Puis c'est des sacrifices pour tout le monde, la famille et tout. C'est incroyable. Donc on a une vie, euh, une vie de fou pendant, pendant une année et demie passée. Et puis euh, c'est vrai que c'est pas évident d'être pendant deux semaines, si ce n'est pas trois semaines. Euh, loin et puis euh, les gens s'inquiètent. C'est égoïste, c'est égoïste de ma part, mais euh, c'est trop beau, c'est trop beau, c'est trop magnifique. J'y serai chaque année. <rire> et le but c'est d'arriver au bout, c'est mon rêve. <rire> ah, allez, je t'aime. Bon, je crois qu'on a assez de causé, il faut que je mette un coup. Hein. Oh, trop, 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 trop.